Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are ready for the clean sweep ink panel. Everyone should be here soon. Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many of you guys are looking forward to this? Yes, waiting on our palace here as well as the coast. Yeah. All right, I got everything all set. Once you get in here, I'll go live. <clears throat> I see them. Looks like here. Okay, why am I saying so many villains? How's it going, Chris? Ah. Hey. <laughs> uh, if you guys are ready, I'm gonna start this up, and then I'm gonna go through here and decide. You know what? Be involved in this. Too late. Uh, hang on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You guys are good. All righty. Thank you, Chris. Alrighty, um, uh, hello, Eggman Revolution, no, why the hell am I here? You got me, but I was told it'd be for a clean sweep, perfect for a chimney sweep such as myself. Come on, mighty step and die. Yeah, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Thanks. Alrighty, so, um, well, I do, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, um, the doctor giving me little control over this panel is definitely, uh, it's, that's very courteous of him. I don't know what he's doing. I, I don't know what he has in mind, but. You got me. The boss is kind of secretive when it comes to this kind of stuff. Even I don't know a bunch of the stuff he's up to. And I'm sort of a lackey. That sounds about right. But, you know, I do like the, I do like that I got a little control over this panel. You know, I got my own, my own little underlings underneath me, including you. Uh, I thank for you. Some reason, for some reason. Um, but anyways, uh, what is this? Ooh, we, we, who is this group we're looking, we're keeping an eye on? A clean sweep? What, what is this? The Mary boss Frick says... The bus center is for this clean sweep incorporated. This hasn't been working with these hasn't been working with these guys for a while, and I don't know what they're up to. Yes, we're gonna find out somehow. What is this, Mary Poppins? Anyways, let's let's go ahead and uh Did someone say Mary Poppins? Shut up. Uh. Anyways. Let's go ahead and uh, check on this clean sweep that we're apparently supposed to be having some sort of Q&A with. Uh, yeah. <sighs> okay. But. Place looks kind of spooky. Yeah, this is a little. Ah, hello, Mr. Zabok. Hey. And you. Welcome to Clean Sweep Incorporated. We're glad to make your acquaintance. Uh, thank you. Oh, don't, don't be alarmed. Um, we, we don't get many guests, so if my presence shocks you, I apologize in advance. Okay. Bye. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> hey. So how about that airline food? Why are you asking you bring us food? that question? I, food? I've been eating all day. Why are you asking us that question? I don't know. Did they, did they bring any ice cream sandwiches with us? Oh, I hope they did. Uh, oh, we're getting uh, ice cream yeah. sandwiches today. Did we? Uh, did we? Uh, gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, please. Let's uh, show a little decorum for our guests. Uh, clutch, it's you. I, 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 thought we, I thought we were the hosts. This, the, the, uh, who are you? Referring in a sense to our business, it's taken so much of your time to come out here. I might as well treat you as guests. I mean, come on, it's the polite thing to do. Uh, thank you. Uh, sh sure. <laughs> Question mark. Uh. <laughs> you crack me up. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Clutch the Opossum. I'm Zavok. I am Zavok. Can I can I get a word in, please? I am Zavok, uh, leader of the Deadly Six and of my and of my own kind, the Zeddy. Nice to meet you. Uh, hi, Cubot. Oh, I I'm know all about you. 
You're one of Eggman's little lackey robots. Man, I could have sworn I saw an earlier prototype of you that was scrapped that I salvaged. <laughs> this guy's hearing me. Did I say that out loud? Oh, yeah, he tends to do that. That's kind of the whole point. Yeah. Oh, you're good there, robot. I like you already. Oh, thank you. Not you, Clutch. No. You're, you're a ah, better look at this time. Anyways. So, yeah, could you tell us more about this clean sweep ink? But of course. Well, you see, this is just our little business to help out the world. We take all manner of scrap and robotic refuse and repurpose it to a better use. Selling it to people who will be able to use it to its fullest potential. We find a lot of Eggman tech after Sonic wastes them, if you know what I mean. Yes. He does that a lot. (laughs) I bet he does. Makes it a lot easier for us. I see. So, um... Uh, so I see that there's an audience in. I see there's an audience in. Why, yes. In. Come, come, welcome in. By all means, make yourself at home. But uh, be sure to lay off the merchandise. I would hate to have to be strict with you. Oh, merchandise? You mean like those cool party hats? It's our bubble heads? I'd like one. Not not that kind of merchandise, just, you know, the the fine products that we make here. Exactly. Oh, was I not supposed heads? to be messing with those? Did, did you just mess with them when Clutch clearly told you not to? No. Gentlemen, please. Ruff, I believe you were saying something. Uh, I wasn't. I didn't mess with anything. Good, good. Mm, <laughs> got the call. So anyway... You said this was a Q&A, didn't you? That's what I said, yes. I suppose the audience may have some kind of questions for us? Or something uh, to that effect? Apparently not so far, because nobody has their hands raised. If they could... If oh, come they on, could. don't be shy. We don't bite. At least not much. <laughs> raise I'm those hands. I'm joking. And this time it's not a threat. Just raise one hand. You don't have to raise both. Put your hands up, but pretty much put your hands up, but we're not arresting you. No, we may be baddies, but don't be afraid to put your hands up. My hands are up. My hands are up. You you can put one of them down. Anyway. Actually, in my opinion, you can put both of them down. Anyways, uh, let me go ahead and uh, let me call up this Kevin person real quick. Wow, this is certainly an interesting group up here. Hey, Kevin. Oh, we're as interesting as it gets. Of course. So, my question is, what is Clean Sweep Inc.'s end goal? (laughs) Well, I can't tell you the trajectory of my business propositions, but I can give you a little hint as to uh, my grander scheme. I mean, the plan. (laughs) I would say that... uh, I believe Clean Sweep Inc. strives to make the world a better place by taking all that manner of robotic refuse and scrap and, you know, making sure it's repurposed, sold to better use, put to a better use. Whoever whoever can use it the best, you know. There's a lot of Eggman tech that always shows up because he's constantly attacking, so... Eh, there's no shortage of work to be done. And with able hands like Rough and Tumble around... I don't really have to get my hands dirty with the nitty gritty. Oh yeah, I'm on it. So many of my fallen cousins. Ah, don't worry. Good to know they're, they're at least being put to good the use. They're being put to good use. I like yeah, of time. course. Of course. Just wait until you see Scrap Nick Island if you ever get the chance. That, that's a whole other ball game. But uh, thank you for answering my question. Scrap Nick what? Isn't that that whole island made of garbage? Yeah, I believe I heard of that before. I'd very much like to take a business trip out there someday. Hey, you know what they say about one man's trash? Oh, that would be a fun place to hang out. What would they say, Ruff? Another man's treasure. Exactly. Good, you're learning. 
Maybe some more of my cousins are there. I'd like to meet them. I didn't even need to rehearse it this time. Exactly. It took quite a while to get it down, but at least you got it down. That's my brother. And, and uh, yes, also, also, yes, um, yes, thank you, Kevin. Um, just a reminder that you are, if you are unable to raise your hand, feel free to, uh, feel free to type your question in as well. We, we don't bite. Oh, I don't bite. Well, they don't, I'm, uh, they don't bite. I'm just, anyways. You get the idea. Of biting. I think just uh, the thing you need to keep in mind is that if you make any of us mad, we will we will be a little bit aggressive. Oh, yeah, <laughs> rough and I are <laughs> real know better than to cross us. <laughs> I don't need to mention what happened the last time someone crossed me, and you don't need to. <laughs> what I happened like then? You. <laughs> well, let's just say. Uh, they won't be a problem anymore, and that's where we'll leave it, gangster. Anyways, uh, Qbot, would you be? A, would you got the next person for me? All right. Uh, I see this bolt a werewolf. I'll call him up. Interesting name. Hello, Discord, everyone. Enabled. <laughs> no. Hi. Hi. Oh. Welcome. What it do? That's what the kids say, right? I believe so, but uh, it's a little bit too modern for my taste. Me I too. Just, I, felt, I felt disgust. I, I felt a bad taste in my mouth saying that. Yeah, there's anyway. nothing really familiar with what me. What it do, baby? Uh, it doesn't sound that bad. Let's just keep it casual between all of us. What's your question there, Bolt? Oh, I was curious to know what you guys do during your downtime. Well, that's a good question. Uh, Ruff, you want to answer this one first? I guess so. Uh, usually I like to take uh, empty bottles of stuff, throw them around. I like to assemble them like pins and see if I can wad up a ball of paper and play a little bowling with them. Usually it doesn't work. Can't imagine why. Probably something to do with the paper just being a little too light. But I'll figure it out. I, I mean, the, the, the crumbled up paper doesn't have much density, so it wouldn't knock over any of the bottles. Yeah, I was trying it with foil. It worked a little better. <laughs> I imagine Tumble plays along with you, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, his throwing arm's way better than mine. But, uh, you know. I've been working out a lot. I got a couple that, splits in. All thanks to that metal, that metal punching bag I got, I got recently. There you go. Keeps you trained up. It's pretty nifty. There you go. What about you? Um, oh, hello. We have another person up here. Ah, hey, hello, guys. Kid. I'm sorry I'm running late. I was busy crying because Serge is in here and I didn't look at the time. It's, it's, it's okay. all good. It's okay. Welcome Serge, aboard. Serge, Serge has her own. That kid. Serge has her own business to tend to. She informed me as well that she will not be. I'm very sorry to report that to you, Clutch. Absolutely. Anyway, Mimic, what about you? Rather uh, she not be here. She's like you can do anyone. This is not fun. Honestly, I would want her to. Prison. Honestly, um, I would want her to be here so you can shut up. Same. <laughs> Only here because Orban ah, kinda... beat me in Rock Donut Thursday. I swear. Shut up before I hit you again. Please if, do. If he, if she was here, she would override your systems, robot. <laughs> It wouldn't I be a short here. circuit, it would be a long one. Just just shut up. Anyways. Uh what I do in what I do in my off time. Well, honestly, I don't have off time. Because I'm always trying to work around the clock as this duo character that I've created for myself. Uh well, along with the help of Clutch. Um, but <laughs> I will say this that cheap. My goodness, she is annoying. Yeah. But yeah, not very deceptive. I, I don't I don't care for her name. It's just she's 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 loud, she's annoying, she's bossy. Like it, it, honestly, I, I'm even surprised because I feel like she almost goes to the length where she abuses her teammates. But she hasn't done that with me, which honestly, I'm kind of glad that she hasn't, but at the same time, it's 
it's already weird enough knowing that when I joined in as that duo character, they the sheep had a fondness of me from well, well, not exactly from the beginning, but they opened up to me. But I see them fight with Whisper, and I'm just I I don't understand her. I don't understand her qualities. See, but at least she's not very perceptive. Hmm. I feel like she can be if you um if you press a couple of buttons. True that. Kid, you joined a little late, but the question was, what do we do in our downtime, or what do we enjoy doing? Why don't you mind, do you mind answering that one? Um, I usually like playing with my powers and, uh, sometimes video games, sometimes planning my next move with Surge. I but see. That's all. I gotcha. Well, for Sounds me... Boring. I like to put on some tunes, kick back and relax. Nothing quite like a nice little, nice little evening read, if you know what I mean. A fine read. Well, you know, checking out the news headlines, looking at what's going on in the world, seeing what kind of robotic refuse is out there for the taking. Oh yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, I'm it with helps you. Me to get pla- it helps me to plan ahead, you see. I like a good business proposal. And to be honest, business is booming. I like you. (laughs) I appreciate a man who understands. Of course I I do. We're both, you know, as a leader. But anyways. Sonic always leaves quite a mess. Which Arba and I always have to clean up. We're not very good at it. (laughs) Oh, I've heard. Well, now that you know what we do, at least you got a place to put all that scrap. Exactly. We could really, really use it. Absolutely. If you have any scrap or robotic refuse, send it my way. I'll be happy to find a way to use it. Uh, okay. Oh, but uh, one little thing. Just uh, don't tell your boss. Okay. (laughs) Is that all? I suppose so. Does that answer your question? Uh, yes, it does. And for that, I will head back down here. Do that. Very good. Great. Um, let's see. I'm reading. I I see a text question. Um, the text question here, but I think um, I'll I'll save I'll save that for I'll save that for later. Just because I see we have some other hands up. Um, would um, let's see. The first person I'm s- seeing on my screen actually. Clutch, would you like to pick the next person? Oh, of course. I'd be happy to. Let's see. Why don't we call on, uh... How about that Mr. Scoot character? Right. Skirt, skirt. That sounded dumb. Forget I said that. Anyway. <laughs> sounded pretty dope, actually. Your mic's muted, by the way. Hello. Hello there. I'm muted anymore. Hey, guy. Hmm? I'm doing fine. We're vibing. That's good. Vibe, that's good. I don't know why I'm here, but I'm fine. Oh. You need to check on us. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot already. Yes, because the good doctor wants to ensure that we're checked up on, like we can't handle ourselves. Yeah, are you kidding mm. me? I'm I'm just... Mm. I, I just said yes to a job. But, you know, I do... I mean, I like the... I like being... Uh, have a little control over it, but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, this is not about me. What was your question? Oh, question. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so my question is, what is your guy's favorite video game? Mm. Dr. Robotics Mean Bean Machine. Ooh, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite. That one's fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, but everybody's always better than me. Everybody makes all these structures, and I don't even know how. Like, I shoot a guy... And he builds a whole five-star hotel. I don't understand. I don't even know how to place any of that crap. I so can barely catch up on Fortnite. I'm more of an uh despite this might be being the um being the um the tough looking guy like my brother. <laughs> I'm more of like um I kinda like the Animal Crossing. Yeah, me too. It's kinda I- relaxing. But at the same time I also like those um those uh, those those crashing and burning type of games where you just break stuff. I like breaking stuff. I, I forgot the I forgot the name fun. of it though. 
I used right. to go into Minecraft, find the nearest cave, and just spam it with dynamite. That sounds about right. I still yeah, usually my computer would, uh, you know, do it a little blue screen thing, but it was pretty fun. I still haven't found that diamond pickaxe yet. It's a toughie. That's why I don't play those modes. Nice. But trying to get a new, get a new I pro. I go for a little bit of else, Animal but... Crossing. Maybe I'd stop being so angry all the time. Animal still... Crossing is an good choice. It still shocks no, me that like you. It still shocks no. me that you two would play Animal Crossing. Well, who knows, Mimic? Maybe it'll show him some new horizons. You never know. <laughs> Maybe I'll even I... turn over a new leaf. Yeah, I understand nah, the reference. Yeah, I understand I the re- I understand the references you made. You might meet some nice city folk. It'll be a wild world when that happens. I think I understand the point. At least just try to be a happy home designer. It'll be a happy home paradise. Okay, okay. I understand. You broke it, Tumble. I hate that I got these references. Me too. Anyway, kid, did you answer? I didn't. You're you're not a part of this. Mm. You're a panelist. Yellow one anyway. Uh I like yeah, Animal Crossing and sometimes Tetris. I just like games that challenge my mind sometimes i see well i can't say i'm much in the way of video games they're a little bit uh after my time though i do say i think tetris is pretty fun it's can't go classic. wrong with a good puzzler I, although i did recently try this crossing? newfangled uh video game what's called animal the, crossing who the hell are you that's, that's my I little think, brother he just wanted it to know uh, i see <laughs> I think I tried one time this this uh, newfangled thing called uh, what is it? The, the yak yakuza. Oh, yakuza! Oh, I heard a lot of good things, so I checked it out a little bit. I have as well. Anyway, it's, it's I, one of the games that real toughies like me play. Yeah, it does. Like, like, like me, and my brother play. All righty, thank you for your question, Mister Scoot. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, Kit, you are adorable. Right. Thank you. See you guys later. You're welcome. See you guys later. Hey, take Bye. it easy. Yeah, we got all types of cute and cuddly in here. Am I cute and cuddly? No. Oh. You're I'm thinking a of drowning you. I'm sure I'm cute and cuddly to somebody. I'm sure of it, though. There's some crazy people on the internet that think of you. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. Anyways, uh, uh, hello, hello there, hello there. Oh, hi, Shane. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Nothing I'm, but a good business venture. I don't uh, even know why I'm here. Really? <laughs> Excuse mm-hmm. me. Well, yeah. Um, it's in the uh, well, oh, wow. There's a lot of you here. Um, yeah. Just uh. Just try to keep your troublemaking to a uh, bare minimum, please. I'm just oh, the host, man. Worry. Zavok and Cubot are doing a great job of that. Well, Zavok. I am. Anyway. Like, I don't, like, I don't. Egg, Eggman, won, Eggman wanted me to keep an eye on these people, so I'm doing that. I see. And I'm making sure that nobody's touching my merchandise. Yeah. No, nobody's <laughs> been doing any of that. Okay. Good, because we're, if you try and cross me, tar- we're, we're basically trying to turn it down a notch, a, a bit of a notch. Don't to self. Don't touch Mr. Clutch's bobbleheads. All right. Well, have, I'm gonna go find Shadow somewhere here and uh, see if uh, he has an inventory of the area. In the meantime, right. Anyway, um, I, <laughs> I would say be good, but that's not your stick. So try not to be too bad. What are you ever referring to? Clean Sweep Inc. does great work for good people. We're a genuine well, uh, charity organization. That, that's what it was called, right? Good save, Ruff. <laughs> good Samaritan? Uh, okay, if you say so. Anyway, you take care. Yes, sir. I'll probably see you around in the future here so- shortly. Yes, I enjoyed uh, popping in on those Revo replays that you were doing. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, you're you're just kind of kind of sitting there lurking about. So, yeah. So um, how, how about that Josh guy? Man, I mean, what? Anyway, 
Anyway, I better I let, let y'all get back to it. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Of course. Absolutely. Thank thank you. Uh uh-huh. Bye, Shane. Thank you, Shane. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, so who would like to pick the next person? About, Why don't you uh, let Ruff pick the next person? Let's have Ruff pick. Yeah. Ah, yes. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo catch. Let's see. Rosebud. How about this? 1992. Rolls off the tongue. Rosebud. How you doing, story? Rosebud? Hello. Hello. I'm doing well. How, is, how are you guys doing? I'm doing what? just fine. I'm doing just dandy. I'm all right. Good. Question all, for right. you guys is if you were to go on vacation, where would you go? That's a great question. Tumble. Why don't you lead us off? Hey, remember when we when remember when we mentioned earlier about that Scrapnik Island place? Oh, Maybe yeah. not really. Uh, uh, yeah, that would definitely be the place we would we would just stop by for stop by for a relaxation. I mean, from the name Scrapnik Island, it doesn't sound like it would be tropical. Like a scary place. Well, that my doesn't respect- sound that scary kind of around scrap all the time anyway so i mean more of the same stuff i mean it may be more the same stuff, some, but, it's, but, but it's metal for rust i mean oh well, take all the pots like and build a whole jungle gym to screw around in oh yeah that would be a whole lot of fun <laughs> sounds like profit to me there you go cousins honestly we should probably Just relocate feel. clean sweep over to scrap over to scrapnik island no, hey, that's I not a bad idea. Getting any ideas? Yeah. You got to place. You got to play smart. Well, See if we capitalize on Scrapnik Island's location, Eggman's gonna notice. I like to well, think step ahead. It doesn't seem like to me Scrapnik Island would be would be watched by Eggman. Though. We could get there before he. It also can. doesn't seem like it's something that he couldn't watch or easily come to. It's isolated. Yeah, we could always use a fake name. Well. Maybe we can at least find some connection to it if we really want to capitalize. Yeah, maybe we can, we can start take that. planning some maybe business we... trips in the coming days. Yeah, we'll maybe workshop we... it. Maybe we might be spying on us. We could take down those cameras. I yes. think we'll. At, I think we'll at least workshop. What about you, Mimic? What would you pick for your vacation spot? Uh, well, I can't go much just on my own. Um. Uh, I hear Spagonia is pretty popular, but I don't have much of an interest. I see. I don't know. I'd yeah, probably, I'd probably just. If you guys have any good recommendations, I'll gladly take it. It's uh, mm. not really my vibe, but I I heard that sp- spaghetti, whatever it sounds like, sounds like a pretty good place. Do you mean Spagonia? Spagonia. Uh, spaghetti. My goodness, you're dumb. Spaghetti. Now I want spaghetti. I mean, yeah, 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 spaghetti I want, this. yeah, I want spaghetti as well. Dumble. Spagonia. Dumble. We're talking spaghetti. about spaghetti. Sp- sp- oh, we have a spaghetti for He's for not supper. gonna learn it now. We have to drill it into him about fifty times before he'll get it. Did you fall on your head or uh, something? I can go for lots of spaghetti. Can I watch? Ah, uh, sure. What? Why not? Why am I even surrounded by you? Anyway, yeah. Uh, moving on from that. Kit, what about you? Yeah, uh, sometimes like beaches, like Emerald Coast, but I usually have to go when no one's around and take surge with me. Hmm. I see. You know, I like a little bit of cityscapes. I like to go to places like Station Square, Empire City. Those places are pretty nice. You just get a real sense of the magnitude and scale of industry there. It's a great, great atmosphere to be around. I love the city. I'm a city man. What can I say? I'm more of an alley guy. I don't have a preference. Hmm. I like small towns. They're a lot easier to conquer. I haven't done a lot oh, of that in a yeah. while, though. And you're not going to be doing a lot of that. You got to keep situation. your noses clean. You got it? Right. I don't have a nose. Can you shut up? Less small shut towns are less... Plus, small towns are less flashy. Not into that flashy stuff. Of course. Does that answer your question, Rosebud? 
you for answering my question. You're welcome. You have a lovely day. Bye bye. See you. Anyways, um, so let's uh, see who's next. How about, um, how about I, how about Tumble? Oh, it's the thing. All right, who do we got here? Ooh, that sounds like a pretty dope name. Roger that soldier. That's the name. Roger that soldier. Uh, yes. How are you all today? Thank hey, you for your uh, Just be just, just fine. Doing just fine. Right. Good, good. Just, uh, just another day, of course. My f- beautiful villains here. And, I am uh, pretty beautiful, uh, yes. Right uh, right as a businessman. Hey, by the way, Cubot, where, where's your buddy? Where's your Orbot? He's hosting. Orbot's doing stuff at the at, at the boss's base. He's we played Rock Donut Thursday. I lost. That's why I'm here. And I'm How just playing I'm, Rock Thursday. You know what? It's besides the point. I don't know if hey. I would be able to handle both these. It's well, there's a better right, spent enough time well, with that. Solu- well, there's a better solution than using um rock paper scissors. That's not- is that so basic? Anyway, what's your question? Ah, it's just something simple since it's something going on. Favorite pancake flavors for all of you? Mm, that's a good one. I didn't even I'm know more of a were. waffle guy. I didn't even yeah, know there was. Yeah, that, count, that counts too, waffles. I didn't even know there were other pancake flavors. Oh, there is. You seen that advertisement the other day? Ooh, you know what? I could go for the pistachio flavor. Hey, who's that? Surge? A surge? Hey, it's me, hey, everyone. Sorry I'm it's, late. I got uh, hung up trying to... Uh, you know. It's Kit's but, oh. buddy. <laughs> hey, we just need how's it going, Drippy. Give me a hug. Oh, wait, ah, no. Come here, kiddo. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Didn't mean to disappoint ya. I'll say yeah, this. I'll say this. You're, I'll say this. Your fashion ability. Absolutely. Oh, it's it. just it's you know shining and polishing each and every little spike on my bracelets. You know, gotta look uh <laughs> gotta look pristine for the interview. <laughs> uh, that maintenance course, takes a lot of, of time, don't it? I'd say you're it just really in does. time with talking about pancakes. You like pancakes? You like waffles? I like waffles. I like French Man, toast. I-, I don't even know if I've ever had pancakes, not gonna lie to you. <laughs> you're joining. Well, you won't be able to wait to get them out full someday. We're going to figure honestly. all that out. You joined it at a very uh, odd time because we got asked a very odd question. What's your favorite pancake flavor? I suppose if you haven't had pancakes, then you can give a favorite breakfast food, I guess. Man, last thing I was able to have for breakfast was those, you know, little nuts and fruits bars that claim to be food. Wait, I nuts? See. You mean you mean like nuts and bolts and inside of a... I, I'm I'm getting confused. Yeah. I, I the hope she means that like all you know, like yes. from a tree. <laughs> Not everything's about robots, okay? <laughs> well, my business is all. You saw like you me again. Hey, Shut up. don't take it personally, kid. Oh yeah, and when I said I just had my warranty. Shut up. Oh. Nobody cares. All jokes aside, I prefer. I I'm I'm actually kind of a pancake guy, actually. But I like my pancakes with pistachios. Pistachios. Yeah, pistachios. The best kind of nut there is. I, I don't even want to think about it. I'm more of a I cashew see what you guy. Mm. One time I had a whole tube of chestnuts. They were pretty good. I Roasted. like cashews too, but pistachios are, are the number one are the number one nut for me. There you go. Nuts. I would say probably I don't know. I'm kind of a biscuits and gravy kind of guy. Gives you a nice little oh, sense man. of that southern hospitality. I could go for some of those. They're southern pretty good. What now? Man. Those all There's sound delicious. Makes you wish I had tasting buds. Newbot, shut up. Mm. What were you saying, Clutch? There's a diner in Station Square that's got the best in town. You can't beat them. Ooh, we should dine there sometime. Yeah. Hopefully I don't get arrested again. Mm. If so, you keep uh, your noses clean, you shouldn't. But do I got to infiltrate that diner? Or what are we doing here, huh? 
Or please, maybe we can just please. Um, we can call it a business dinner. As long as you're on their best behavior, nobody's gonna bat an eye. I'll make sure of it. Yeah, maybe as long as we're conspicuous enough, we can get by that diner with, with no trouble. I could go for a big old slab of ham. Anything with blueberry, uh, I've been avoiding peanut butter. Gets stuck to my roof of my mouth. Not sure they have the pistachio flavored pancakes there, but I'll eat anything. I hear that. Three. Yeah. Is that usually, everybody? I've never tried pancakes either, but usually I just steal some of Starline cereal and then he wonders what happened to it. Yeah, yes. I caught this kid trying to steal his coffee once. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Ah, yeah. let him have some coffee. He can Why use not? a little boost. A good yeah, cup of joe like goes a long a way at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah, yeah he kind of looks, looks like he has bitter. a slump in months. It's funny, I never even like coffee. I prefer iced tea in the morning. I like hmm. coffee if it's got a lot of sugar. Can't do the regular crap. Can't do the cold brew or anything. It's just... More, uh, yeah! It's more all of a tear. about that black coffee. I'm more of a tears of my enemies person myself. I prefer my coffee black, okay. but I don't like it. I'll drink to that. Oh. I love the tears of my enemies. Absolutely. They're nice yeah, and salty. Seems a little salty. Uh, tears, coffee, my favorite. You ever have Sonic's tears? <sighs> I yes. Oh, it's a delicacy. That, abso- absolutely. It's, my, um, it's one of my favorite foods. Anyways, does that answer your question, Roger? Of course. Thank that you, everyone. Question. And before I leave off, I'm going to leave you off with this. You all have a good day. You too, my friend. Anytime. You too. And have all a right. good breakfast tomorrow. Hopefully it's yeah. waffles instead of pancakes. But yes. I won't be too mad if you get the pancakes. I'll just be mm. very, I very think, disappointed. Hey, stop yes, by I that don't. diner on Station Square. Best biscuits and gravy in town. Can't miss it. Or I won't time. be mad if you sling some of those mine in Kit's way. Yeah, oh, I need to play. You all Makes have you a wish good I one. had taste buds. Got plenty of taste buds. Anyways, thank you, Roger. I wonder if any of this scrap yeah. back here can uh, you know, anytime. add that on to him. Yeah, and enjoy the meme, too. I oh, yes, I'll go ahead and, and, yes, I'll go ahead and bring attention to that real quick. Um, there is a cert, there is a picture that Roger that Soldier put in the R Show discussion. We'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> uh, pin that real quick. Well, Whoa. that's. Uh, it appears wow. to be. Oh, this is a really disturbing something. image. That You're telling so, me. That's crazy. That, that is so cursed. Oh, I didn't think man. I could hate either of them any more than I already do. I thought yeah. I would. I thought I was sadistic. You're telling me he does, just doesn't suit the boss. Yeah. Big man was that small. <laughs> we wouldn't need these guys to come check in on us. Maybe less just check them out. We, we, I mean, we um, wouldn't be able to take them seriously. Thank you very anymore. much for checking on us. Yes, thank you so much for checking in on our business ventures. We really appreciate it. Yes. I say that I'm I'm hosting this. What am I saying, anyways? <laughs> but um, is who's next? For the next? No. Side? Why don't we let Kit call on someone? Let's do that. Um, go by the list. Who's first? Dino Kaiju. Uh, hello, it's everyone. Dino Kaiju. Hey, hey, Tumble. Good to see you again. And Mimic. Hi. And Ross. And Cubot, well. and Kit, and Serge, and Zabok, and I don't believe we've met before, Clutch. Hi. I Pleasure don't meet believe you. we have, but with a name like that, you must be a big deal. Nice to this meet is, you. This is Dino Kaiju, <laughs> one of the coolest people ever with one of the coolest names ever. I see. That's a pretty cool name. I don't know who you are, though. Uh, <laughs> you still don't I, look I, like a dinosaur. He got me in the dinosaurs. Well, actually, I was always in the dinosaurs, but like... Gentlemen, please. You have a question? 
<laughs> uh, first off, G Tombo, thanks. Uh, anyway, so um, my all right. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, my question is actually gonna be for you, Clutch. Since again, we pretty much first met. Uh, this, I mean, this is our first time meeting. So my question is for you. Okay, I see. All right. So, um, giving obviously, I assume you have some time with Clean Sweep Incorporated, uh, and with all these scraps and things that you're doing for money and all that stuff. I'm quite curious to know if this is okay for you to answer. For you, what do you think is the most valuable scrap you have ever encountered? Oh, that's a good question. Kind of a tough one to answer, too. There's a lot of different scrap we deal with here. I mean, you've got your standard battle mechs and badniks, but then you've also got tech from worn down bases and circuitry from inside the wall panels. I mean, it's all useful for various different appliances and different power circuitry. You know, there's a lot of things that you can utilize egg tech for. It's shameful to see the doctor's wares go to waste, so to speak. As for the most valuable, hard to say, really. The battle mechs are definitely something that fetches a high price. They get you a good easy, they get you about an easy 2K on the market. At least, in certain 2K. circles. 2, 2K? Is that like 2K rings or something? Uh, well, I don't know how the currency relates to translating to your world, but let's just say it's a bit of a big deal around here. Especially since that tech don't go for cheap. Bro, I assume you're wow. not wrong there. Is that Prepada? The whole... Oh, that's for, that's for... Well, you see... A lot of the times, the egg mech is really, like, destroyed by Sonic or, and his friends, or whoever's dealing with, it, with Eggman's stuff. So, typically, I'd say it depends on the metal count and also the components used inside. Based on what kind of qualities and properties they have, they have different uses and attributes that we can use. Even the so material? Would, yeah, it depends. It depends on material. It also depends on function. If you got something like a hard drive, that'd be useful. But if you got something more like an arm cannon, now that's going to fetch you a high price. Oh, yeah, definitely. Or even something like that has like web, like giant weapons, like some of those other backnings that they that they had, like like those oh, giant absolutely. ones that have big weapons. Sometimes if you find a spare power core, now there's your ticket right there. That'll get you a real nice score. Mm. That's understandable. Would you say a power score? Core score? I'd say it would be a power grab. Hey, there I see go. what you did there. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. <laughs> not, not that's the kind of one-up really we want to see. Exactly. <laughs> I'm all about good business propositions, and I will make deals that nobody can refuse. My prices just can't be beat, mainly because I'm the only one selling them. Ooh. That's understandable. Does uh, does that even include auctions or something? Uh, potentially. Depends who's asking. True that, true that. Um, but yeah, yes, that pretty much answers my question. Uh, thank you for the answer, Clutch. And uh, again, great seeing you guys again. And uh, yeah, if I get another question, I'll raise my hand up. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Have a good it's day. Nice. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you very much, Dino oh, Kaiju. Yeah. I like those kind of questions. Very business oriented. You got a good head on you, kid. It'll take you places. Yeah, that's a whole world I don't really understand. So, and you wouldn't ever how much all this stuff is I worth. I tried to explain it to you. I got, I got nothing. To my, I, I got may nothing have to my forgotten head, a lot of it. So it's so it must have been really good. It's all good. The important thing is they now know what they need to know. Of course, I didn't tell them everything. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, is it back to me now? I forgot. I think it's Surge. Everybody <laughs> else is gone, I, I think. I think. Yeah. Surge appears to be, um. I'm oh. here, you guys. Don't worry. Never mind. Feel free to call what on am I someone, doing? Surge. All right, let's see. Ah. Uh, how about the ultimate voice actor, huh? Get up here. The big credentials. Oh, that guy. Hi, the ultimate. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, what's going oh, on? Hi. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, what's, what's your you question? Took the words right out of my mouth. What? Oh, no? <laughs> yeah. 
Gotta say, why you looking so pale over there? You scared of something, kid? Uh, yeah. First of all, that's a, uh, a monster who can eat people in one gulp. And then those yeah, two are skunks. Not, that's that's an octopus, which are actually really tasty. And then that one's a robot. Uh-huh. And then that yeah, one's not too rough. Well, he's well, not too scary. He's actually kind of kind of cute and cuddly. And that one yeah. is just fearsome. Yeah. So yes. Yeah. And then you're a possum. <laughs> hey, I let me tell you possums, though. But you underestimate my pal here. He's just yeah. as fearsome as me. I mean, I've taken down rough and tumble just easy. Yeah, I can uh, testify. Uh, now he is cute. I'll give you that. He's quite adorable. We've all got but quite the amount of power at our disposal. The question yeah. is how do we use it best? And the we're question d- is, are you going to make us use it? Uh, no. Good. You, you, you sure? You, you sure? Because I don't want to, because I want to watch. No. Nah, take it easy on this guy. Let him ask his question. You're fine. Anyway, what's your question? So, this one is to Mr. Clutch, if that's okay. Oh, it's perfectly fine. What's your question? So, I'm just curious. Um, your company does pretty much the same work as the Resistance, right? Except you charge people. Yeah, the rest, the right. Yes, right. Restoration. My bad. So, my question is... Why on earth would we want to hire you if we can just have the restoration do it completely for free? Because it's all voluntarily work. I mean, there, I mean, there's nothing wrong with hiring you. I'm, I'm just saying, that if you want to get the best bang for your for your for your buck, you, you want to, you would. You, I, I mean, I'd rather get something for free that instead of like paying for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> a valid question. That is very true. I mean, yes, the restoration does offer their services for free, but that also limits what you can do with the tech that is harvested or the tech that is salvaged. Tell me, if you came across a sweet ride that Eggman left behind that was potentially capable of causing a little bit of damage, but your friends said, oh yeah, this thing goes 0 to 60 in 0.4 seconds, I'd say that's worth the keep. However, if you turn it over to the restoration and you get them to salvage it, they're gonna they're gonna take away everything that makes that baby tick and it's gonna make it worse. They strip it down for its parts, take out the components that make it what it is. The best components are likely the most dangerous ones. See at Clean Sweep Inc., we don't ask questions about what you're gonna do with the tech you buy. However, we will fix it up for you and make sure that it's not gonna cause any damage. And if you ask me, no price is too high to not get to have to talk to Sonic. Trust me. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. It's worth we drive, paying whatever you got just to stay away from those guys. We drive a hard bargain, and it's harder than the restoration. Yes, but we offer you more freedom with what you can do with the tech you salvaged. There's all sorts of forms and, f- and fill-outs that you gotta do with the restoration. It's a lot of signatures, a lot of empty promises. I don't like getting to that. I cut the talk and make a deal. That's the best way to do business that I've found over my years. And I'll stick to it until the day I die. Also, they're annoying. I suppose. But they are my business partners. So, I mean, hey, I enjoy working with them. They're great people. They've got the right idea on their heads. But I don't necessarily agree with the way they go about it. Ah, Mm -hmm. your point is well seen, actually. I did not expect that answer. I mean, you got to think about it from a business perspective. What's the restoration going to allow you to do with this tech for free? It was dangerous. It caused destruction. There's a lot of forms and regulations you have to apply to. Whereas if you buy it from my end, I don't care what you use it for. As long as you're not as long as you're not going to use it for something damaging and it doesn't look bad on us, I don't really ask questions. A deal's a deal. You sign your word. I trust a man at their word. It's mutual respect. That's how business gets done. Hmm. hmm. Okay. That makes more sense. Uh, thank you, Mr. Clutch. No problem. Thank you, Ultimate. I'm not going to lie, Clutch. The more I hear you talk, the more I like you. What can I say? I like to keep it simple. Even Wagged at one of those restoration weapons that they make out of scrap, they hurt, but they break so easily. 
No, that's oh, another yeah. thing. The quality's pretty shoddy if it's for free. Don't even file off all the numbers. You can see exactly where it came from. You get what you pay for, and the quality speaks to it. Yes, it There's a price to pay for the lack of price. Exactly. Which is weird. Technically, technically, they're putting in more work to make it safer. Exactly. I don't that's not how you. That's not how you treat your employees. That's not fair compensation. I know at least a little bit about labor laws. At the Eggman Empire, we have cake, which I can't eat because I'm a robot. Ah, get me some of that. My company? Because <laughs> if you're trying to make a business deal in my house, you best be prepared for the consequences, little bot. I want to. I want to watch those consequences. I plead the fifth. Huh. I do like some cake, though. Good. So I'm not sure if I suggest you keep to yourself and don't make propositions in my house, Capiche? I plead the fifth. Anyway, with that out of the way, that was a good question. Yes, absolutely. Um. Anyways, uh, leave it's back to me now. I I, I forgot. Yes, um, now it's back to you. Everyone's asked. Well, except um, for Cubot. Did Cubot ask? Did Cubot? Uh, what was the question again? Did you bring someone up? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. I was the second one guy who brought someone up. All right, then it is back to you, Zavok. All righty, then. In that case, I will go ahead and bring up. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Radar the Main Wolf. Come on up. Hello there. Well. This is Hello. A Hi. <laughs> hello, Cubot. Hello, Zavok. And um, hello, Clean Sweep Incorporated. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure as always, Mr. Opossum. Pleasure's all mine. Uh, apologies. I would have been here sooner, but uh, dinner time called. It was and a way to keep night. you from that. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Can't make good deals on an empty stomach, huh? No, you certainly cannot. Hmm. Anywho, I do have a question, and it is, and it is mainly for you, Clutch. Uh, just because I was curious, just exactly, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just mainly curious about uh, Clean Sleep Inc. and its current location. Uh, from what I know is that the current facilities of Clean Sleep Inc. used to belong to Eggman during his more successful takeovers of the world. Um, and I was just very curious. I'm hoping no one had asked you this, but very curious. How did you come across the facility so easily and acquire them all the more? Just, you know, getting off of Eggman's radar must have been... Probably not much of a hassle, but to take over his old facilities, that is impressive. Let's just say I'm a man known for my reputation. When word spreads around that I'm looking for something, there's people who are willing to help. Because they know I'll fetch the right price. They know I'm a good businessman, and a deal's a deal. My word is my bond, and I don't break that word. So, when I find myself a good proposition... It makes it easy to get what I want to achieve. I'm all about making sure my business is booming. And those Eggman bases have a lot of the tech that I need to salvage his own materials. After all, if you're trying to work with egg tech, what better way to work with it and understand it than with other egg tech itself? Those abandoned bases have plenty of different machines and tools that are used to build the robots that we salvage. Might as well use it to our own advantage. I can completely understand that. Especially when there's uh, a good amount of them spread across uh, the north of the ocean from what my uh, research has looked into. Uh, but hey, again, very impressive. I mean, after all, you started the company with very nothing. Well, except for rough and tumble on call, but they were off doing their own thing. But, you know... And, heck, they're still working with you. They're working with your tech. And, you know, it's it's just very... very I, I applaud such ways that you've acquired such huge facilities in that short amount of time. I mean, it's no. just admiration. 
sir. Well, Rough and Tumble were definitely instrumental in making sure that this place was up to code. Oh, we were very instrumental. Absolutely. That's uh, that's that's uh, important, right? Yes, it means you were helpful. Very, very helpful. I thought you were talking yes. about like, like a. Uh, we have a, a secret music career or something. I guess you could say. We're all a big harmony when we come together. And we show yes. rock and roll. Like a, <laughs> like a symphony that doesn't quit. Hey, that like, was pretty good. Be nice. Be nice. I mean, oh, wow. I, I, can, I can vibe with that, sure. Mm. If that's the way you guys want to put it. I mean, yes. despite you all having very different goals... You all come together for simply one thing. Let's just say I needed some hands to get dirty. They fulfilled the job. That egg tech is covered in all sorts of grease and grime and oil. I don't want to get my hands dirty when they can do it for me. They'll fetch a decent pay, maybe clean their head, clean their reputations a little bit. Show some doing some good in the world. Goes a long way. I should way. probably change my gloves. They're all greasy from uh, yesterday. Jeez, yeah, that was a tough job, Jeez, but you did a good one. He said, hey, man, I really, really left that, that's really, really left that tech to rust, didn't he? Well, hey, yeah. look at look on the bright side, brothers. You guys also have robots who will be able to help you with the work as well. So you oh, guys yeah. to work too much. Anyway, I hope that answered your question. Uh, yes, thank you. You have a good one. <laughs> Bye. Right. Somebody drew me some, some waffle fan art. Merry Baker Cake. Ah, oh, man. Really wanting cake today. Thank no, you very much for the nice cake. waffle art. Bacon Ooh, pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Ooh, Tell you what, Ruff, you keep sure. your noses clean for the rest of the panel. I'll let you and your brother go get some cake at the store. Call it a treat for a job well done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm actually going to water already. <laughs> but keep in mind that this, panel off. this panel's done. We got a job to do. Yes, right. Anyways, I believe it is back to cube to uh, Q-Bot. Yes, that would be uh, correct. Right. Uh, I see this. Your local mean dish, whatever his name is. I'll bring him up. All right. Hello, your local meme dealer, parentheses, ProTech. How are you doing? Hi. Hey, guys. What's going on? I think you... What's the price on those memes? Could we turn that into a business venture? Oh, so? I can give you one for like $1 or for two it. for $3 or five for $10. I'm, doing, I'm running a business here. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I did Ooh, want to ask you a few questions if I business? could. That's not uh, very wise. Yeah. One. I'm curious so exactly just, just what exactly are you guys doing? Okay, okay, all right. What is cl uh, Clean Sweep Inc? What exactly is that, if I may ask? I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Are, are you guys like a clip crew or you're supposed to be like janitors from like. You know? and you, can, can you let our guest speak, please? <laughs> what were you saying, Clutch? Oh. I was saying we did kind of answer that at the beginning of the panel if you were paying attention. But if you want, I can remind you what it is. Okay, I mean, I, I but just got here. But are you sure here, that's so, your question? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm right. kind of curious exactly why all these bad guys are. Are you guys like janitors now, or is is that what's going on? I'm 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 kind of confused. So not yeah. exactly what it is. Janitors, but better custodians. That's the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> It sounds more you said that was such, upper class. You said that was such vim and vigor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, anyway, but come on, uh, custodians sound more it sounds more professional. Listen, Queen Clean, Clean, Clean Sweep Inc. is a very simple company. We take robotic refuse and Eggman tech that's been recycled, and we salvage it and then sell it back to the people to use for better purposes. Ah, it's so a good business doing a lot of good gotcha. work. Okay. Can you, can you let them speak, please? Not evil recyclers. We're just people who do a good job, sell a good product, and make sure that it can go to a better use. It keeps that dangerous tech off the streets and repurposes it for something better. It's, a, it's an honest job. It's hard work, but it's got to be done. 
Huh, okay, so... Basically, recycling, trying to give back to the community after you guys literally caused so many issues, now you're trying to turn over a new leaf? Is, is that what I'm hearing? We're not turning over any leaves. And you're not trying to convince anyone that we do anything bad. Because I can tell you right now, if you are, I don't take kindly to people making assumptions about my business. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, that answers your question. I think that's good enough for me. Yeah, pretty much. Y'all have a good day. All right. Thank you. Bye. Uh, like you know what to do. See ya. See ya. Anyways, uh, Ruff, would you like to pick the next person? Yes, let's see. Uh, Terrence. Let's go and get you in here. Terrence the Hedgehog. Hope you're not like that other one. Stop. Um, I got a question for, for Clutch here to literally give an uh, answer. Okay. What can I do for Are you? British? Are you British? Do I sound like I'm British to you? Oh. Well, they do speak like one, like tech, like basically have literally a British accent in my mind. That's a very interesting choice for a British accent if I've ever heard one. But yes. anyway, who am I to knock your fantasy? Well, I was thinking that you literally speak like a British accent or in an Australian accent, if I do be honest. But literally... I do mean like you do like a British, British, like you're from England. I'll tell you this much. I'm from the city. I was born and raised here, and I don't have a plan to leave. If that answers your oh. question, that'll do. Okay. Thanks, guys. And Serge, be cool. Um, <laughs> I'm trying, man. You know, Ruff and okay. I grew up in the streets, too. Okay, bye guys. I'm not really sure where we grew up. Uh, bye bye. Yeah, I was mostly under Starline. You know, in fact, the duck is a British one. Yeah, that, he's kind of Starline British. He's oh, kind of British. Matters. I remember yeah, he's sounding gone. British. I don't. Who, who knows? Anyway, anyway, down to the next person. Uh, uh. <clears throat> Clutch, would you like to pick the next person? Sure, don't mind if I do. Let's see. I think there was a text question at the beginning of the panel. Maybe let's go with that one. Righty. Oh, uh, they don't have their hand up anymore. Uh, but that's... Never mind, they got their hand up again. Nah, don't be shy, come on. What was the text question at the beginning of the panel? Oh, right, I confused myself. That's my bad. All Maybe. good. Uh, let's see here. Um, Dodger asks, question for Tumble. What is your technique? What? Yes. Yes. Y you. Who, who you? There's no other Tumble on stage. I'm not my brother. I guess it's just me then. Okay. Why do you think I said your name? Anyways, their question is, what is your technique to smash Sonic and his friends? Well. I can't do it alone, but uh, I, I bet you much, can't. Well, I'm pretty much, uh, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much scrambled with that without my brother. So, considering that he has, he has, like, considering that he has the ability to like to just cause a stink bomb. Well, I, even though I'm a skunk, I only got, even though I'm a skunk like him, I only got physical strength. So I can't, can do a single stink bomber, but one way to do it is, is to lure my, is, is to lure him with my, well, we just find some way to lure him. Uh, it's always a matter of planning. Yep. Hey, Tumble, next time you're facing him, just call up me and Kitten, we'll finish the job. True. Yeah, you, you yeah, won't. You, you, because you, you like all you need to keep your noses like clean, remember? Nah, oh, come oh, on. That... Let us have one more fight. I didn't oh, get to on, finish then. it quite like I wanted to last time. Keep in mind and that I, I hired you all to do a job. But you'll take the credit from us. I hired you to do a job, That's my kill. not crush Sonic. And you're going to do your job, or you're not going to get oh, paid. Man. Like when I have a word here. 
Well, can I get tails at least? I didn't get a good shot. Yeah, give the kid you tails. Don't Come get on. Anyone? Do no. I make myself clear? Ah, uh, fine. Well, the thing is, Ruff can do a whole lot more than I can, but uh, I, but I got the I got the strength, and I got like I'm all physical. I'm all physical combat type of guy. So yeah, for so skunk I'll use. The, so well, handle the tough stuff. Well, all right. He's the brawn. I'm not really brains. I'm kind of brawn too. We we just be people. We don't think much of it. You got a well. You got a lot more brains than I do. I oh, don't fair. sell yourself short. I didn't want to say it. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? Of course I did. Look, I'm always short on words. How am I gonna explain all this? <laughs> you know, first skunk, right. you sure do stink. Anyways, that's what Bottom. we do. <laughs> yeah, I don't even, what, but I don't even know how to stink. That's that's my that's my brother's job. That's what I'm saying. You stink at stinking. I don't He's get that. Okay, point. I, I'm just confused here. Well, just Very stink good. less, and you'll You're figure it out. Saying you're bad at stinking. Oh, oh, when will I get better? When will Anyways, I learn how to do the stink it's bomb a like lot you? Of practice. <sighs> I don't know. Consume We're, some. Anyways, consume practice is stinking later. We got a you, job to do. Just get an onion after the panel or something. You'll be alright. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll you'll get some more time to teach me how to do that stink bomber, like you do. Ah, uh, yeah, I've been refining it for a long time. Oh, then, then if I master it, we'll that'll be that'll be double the stink bomber. And oh, it's it, gonna be real trouble. And it'll knock the it'll knock the <laughs> starting at his friends cold. As long as you don't do it until your job's done. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Anyway, I think we can move to the next question now. Yes, I believe there was another text question as well, but let's get another person up first. Mimic, why don't you call on someone? Or was it rough? Who called after me? I think it was Mimic. All right, Mimic, you call on someone. Gladly. All right. I'll go with Stereo 190. A lot of stereos. Maybe that's the radio station. Maybe. How much you'd think you'd get from scrapping all them stereos, huh? Hi, stereo. Bye, stereo. Wait, what happened? No. They, they popped go? in and then they popped in and then popped off. I don't know what happened. Maybe try inviting them again. Well, they don't have no. their well, they don't have their hand raised. And now they are not even on the stage anymore. Discord, everyone. I. Hmm. Is it okay if I call up someone else? Yes, go ahead. I don't see why not. All right. I'll go with Ryan the Tenre. Eh, what's up? Hi. I'm Ryan. Hey. Welcome. Hey, fellow Tenric. Another Tenric. Yeah, that's what I am. This is quite young. Anyway. Anyway, you got a question for us? I do have a question Question for Search the Tenric. Lay it on me. All right. What is your favorite sport to play? Sports? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you think I was ever allowed to play sports under Starline? Most sports I got to play were all those obstacle courses he set up for me. Oh, I hated <sighs> those. Oh, so you're telling me. Jeez, what a monster that duck was. Uh, it wasn't all so bad. I mean, yeah, so sorry I guess it was, it was pretty fun. Uh, Getting to prepare to kick Sonic's butt, but uh, <sighs> just wish it was under other circumstances. Well, one yeah, the times I interacted with him during the Mellow virus, it wasn't so oh, nice. Yeah, I want to wipe the smile off that guy's face. Yeah, don't worry. Well, he ain't smiling now. <laughs> That's yeah, what I like to hear. My question. I love you, Serge. <laughs> I love you too. Tenric to Tenric. So long, you call me Ryan the Tenric. All right, Ryan. In nature. So long. <laughs> Take it easy. Bye, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan the Tenric. I can't really pronounce. Thank you, Ryan the Tenric. Broken heart emoji. I like that guy. <laughs> You're okay. Anyways, um, I believe uh, it's. I, bel I believe there was another text question that I had. Um, this one's from Trey Thornton 19. Um, to everyone, 
um, I don't know, but they pinged Kevin for some reason. They are not the host. I am the host along the, I am the host here. Um, alongside Cubot over here. Um, Hi. shut up. Anyways, to everyone, yeah. what is your favorite hobbies? That is the question that they asked. Well, I touched on my bowling career very briefly. My, uh, low ambition one, but it's practice. Okay. Lining up bottles, throwing a big old wad of paper or foil. Foil seems to work better. Knocking them down. In the meantime, I like to punch, uh, not the scrap that we have around scrap that I find. I like to punch it just for fun. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it doesn't builds that muscle builds that bones. My favorite the- hobby is watching Sonic cry. <laughs> and that's kid's favorite hobby too. Cause I said, I wish is. I got to do that. Yeah, that's, that's my pastime. Well, hey, I like to playing rock on a Thursday with Orbot. Well, I like to kick some cans and like, like I'm playing like soccer or something. We I don't have kicked a good can in a while. We don't have a good. No. We don't have any good soccer balls around here, so I just like to kick cans. And you know, also, cans are nice and cylindrical. Maybe I could use those for my bowling. Oh yeah, it would be a whole lot better than just using a bowling ball. And also. Also, um, playing video games is my thing. And just so I just, and just so my muscles don't even turn to goo, to gushy goo, I lift, I love to lift weights. Keeps me up and pumping. He hits those weights like crazy. I, the boss likes never, to play bowling. He often uses Orban as the bowling ball. I don't know why he u- doesn't use me. It'd be fun to be a bowling ball. That was for the guests. You don't even look like you can roll. You're like a square. Hey, we'd what? find a way to make him roll. That's my oh, cross you- to bear. Oh, you Being know what? A square. Oh, you know what? He should roll Sonic into a into a into a cage where he can't even escape from. No, that's just like that one dream. Fun. That's his goal. I'd say for hobbies. Well. I like to do a good bit of prospecting, if you know what that means. It's where I look for potential new clients, new business. I'm always on the lookout for the next good deal. So in my free time, I like to meet people, go places, experience the world. You get an eye of who's in charge of things around there. And then when you talk to the big man, you know you're making the right deal. I see. Uh, did everyone answer their que- that that question? I just want to say, yeah, playing video games is cool too. We'll cross him for the win. Lost mimic for a second there. This is going to be a short panel. Um, mimic there we go. There he is. On me. Oh, got you. I see. But anyways, while um, guess we just move on to the next question. Um, well, but the. the Hey, is it just me or is Mimic now a speaker? Mimic is. <laughs> you can answer. Who is up next? I, I guess everybody. Well, after Mimic, it was rough. Sure. So yeah, guess, sure. Let's go with that. I guess um, rough. You want to call on someone? Yeah, let me see. Uh, how about Rainboom the Duck? Yeah, that fits. Muted, by the way. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. So anyway. Hey, everyone. How you all been doing so far? That's Ringboom. Very well. I'm doing, doing just all right. great. And so far. Also, <laughs> so, also, Claude, it's very nice to see you. The first time I see you, it's yes. nice to see you. <laughs> I know this is a bit of my, this is my first official appearance here, but I was scouting out a little bit, doing some prospecting earlier, as you can tell. With those Revo replays, I was checking the place out, getting an idea. But anyway, now that I've got a taste, it's nice to be here officially. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you too, Klutz. All right. So anyway, my question is to all of you: um, What's your guys' favorite ice cream sandwiches? I like this question. question. It's a very specific question. Indeed. Ooh, I like to get myself something me. strawberry. I Ooh, remember I the first the time I had one of those Neapolitan ones, and I was like. Well, why was it not eating the whole, you know, the pink one my entire life? Uh, it's too bad they don't have the strawberry ones alone. Actually, I'm thinking of the tubs, but 
But the ice cream sandwiches. Nah, they do. Oh, they do. They make strawberry ice cream sandwiches and oh boy. It's not Nothing. often me or Kit get any nice treats, but uh, double chocolate's my fave. Yeah, I like mint, uh, mint ice cream. I just like mint. Interesting. I would eat ice cream sandwiches, but I don't have taste buds. And ice cream gets caught in my circuit boards. Yeah, and we don't want another rodeo show from you. I'm, I'm, uh, souls of my enemies are pretty delicious. Hey, they this guy gets ice cream it. flavor. That's True. interesting. It's, uh, it's, it's, Must it, be it, a it's, it's a lot like the, specialty. yeah, absolutely. It's a lot, it's a, uh, it's a lot like strawberry. There you go. Oh, oh, that's dark. I say you can't go wrong with the classic. I don't know what either tastes like. like. Yes, yeah, souls taste like strawberries. You got the chocolate patties, so to speak. And then you got... Well, actually, no. Would it be considered the dough? I don't know. I'm not really good on the ice cream terminology. The stuff in the middle is vanilla, and the stuff on the outside is chocolate. The classic. That's what I'm used to. Yes. You know what? Actually, I'm kind of the pistachio and uh, Rocky Road kind of ice cream sandwich. Rocky Road's any- a good pick. Haven't had oh, that yeah. in a minute. Yeah, there's a perfect combination of flavors. Indeed. I heard there's also a mint chocolate chip sandwiches. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mint chocolate chip. Yep, that, that's Tails' favorite thing. <laughs> of course it is. Oh, it's his oh. favorite? Yep. No, That's Tails' like favorite. It. Yeah, now I don't like it. I'm just I'm just gonna go stick with vanilla. Nah, that's okay, Kit. Go with double chocolate. Anyways, uh did everybody answer? I'll Ooh, say this guy does more flip flopping than a floppy disk. And I should know. What was that Careful, square? I might just open you up. You never know. <laughs> I'm not it. here. Mimic is right, Kit. Show me What's box. your favorite ice cream I- sandwich, Mimic? Or favorite flavor, I should say. I didn't even know if there were first the pancakes and then ice cream sandwiches. I didn't know that there were many flavors for ice cream sandwiches that I would just There's go. A lot with of the foodies pie. in here. What can I say? Yeah, exactly. I can. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, yeah. I You'd be tell. shocked how good the souls of my enemies are. Well, I got a good piece of food. After all, that, all that food has got to give me strength. Of, that's got to give me extra strength, you know. Well, I'm sorry I'm not a big uh, connoisseur of food. It, I, that's not what I focus on. Um, so I'm sorry to be uh, the basic one, but I just go with plain ice cream. Plain ice cream. Yeah. I guess going for the classics isn't a bad thing. Uh, well, I don't know. There are a bunch of people that don't like just plain vanilla ice cream. When I say they're wrong. Uh, we better not have any in the audience. I'm gonna start swearing people out. I, you don't need to do that. Yeah, that's I'm oh, I'm, I'm the I'm the host. That's my job. So, yeah, I'm right, 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 right. Zevlock's well, job. Yes, well, even so, well, even it, it's well, my job to bully the audience. Well, even I'm the co-host. Yeah. Does that mean I get to swear? No, no. you. you uh, I mean, if there's oh. swearing in here, you're you're. I remember in that case. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. You're oh, gonna. No. Okay, okay, whatever you, you do, might. just Wait. don't make just Can you just don't be with swears. Just just he don't give me whatever whatever the he I got, wants. I got I got I got, I got you. I I got okay, you. Let me you get do, the hammer. Just don't just don't give him the New York gangster. Oh, yeah. the, the, the New York gangster voice chip because I because he what you mean this a, one? Forget about it. Hey, like, hey, that's not what we say. More. And you're talking to me. Oh. And there's no one else here, so you must be talking to me. That's the worst New York accent ever. Because that was terrible. I don't know what a New York is, but are you trying to imitate me? I don't know. Am I? I don't find it very flattering. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Please don't hurt me. No, 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 no. No, keep on going. I want to to see what they do. (laughs) Oh. If you know what's good for you, keep your bucket of bolts shut. And don't make it. Don't make any interpretations like that again. Nobody here but us boxes. There's no other boxes in the audience. Anyway, with that, I'm about to throw you in a box. That answers that question. 
Well, I guess that's it for mo- Well, I- Oh, oh words, um. Well, I- thanks for answering my questions. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the panel, and I'll see you all later. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for the question. Yeah. Bye. I'm enjoying it somewhat. Anyways, uh, t- <clears throat> Tumble, would you like to pick the next person? Oh, yeah, sure thing. All right, who do we got here that has not went yet? Okay, looks like everyone went. That's that's uh holding their hands up, but uh, well, who cares? So let's double dip. Uh, let's go with the uh, radar. Hello again. I've returned and in a different spot. So to speak through my microphone, yes. Thank you, Tumble. Yeah. Bye, Cubot. And hey, also radar. apologies for. Hey, and also apologies for not saying goodbye to the rest of y'all. I thought I had to, I thought I had a limited time and also technical difficulties, but everything is great. It's good so, to hear. Yeah. Good to hear. So what's your question? Yes. Um actually just a general question uh for all of the clean sweep members. Um Folio, uh, we're all we're, we all know that Clean Sleep Inc. has been cleaning up a bunch of egg tech and also dealing its own badniks in order to help with the cleanup. Um, but I want to know exactly what kind of egg tech do you guys would like to see as a part of Clean Sleep? Like, as in, like, are there certain robots you th- would benefit you guys apart from, well? Well, let's just say Surgeon Kid have to be a bit creative here because they're they usually destroy the robots. But if any of the robots were to assist you guys as a part of Clean Sweep, I mean, heck, even even Eggman's own um, mechas, perhaps something as grand as that were to be acquired in a Clean Sweep. Mm, that's a good question. A tough one to answer, too. I would say, though, probably Buzz Bombers. You think so? Yeah. They have access to higher reach places. They can fly around and scout for any salvage that we're missing from the air. It's always good to have a bird's eye view. Aerial coverage. I, I can understand that. Uh Ruff, Tumble, what about you guys? What do you what what kind of what kind of egg tech do you guys think would benefit you guys the most? Hmm. Well, more of those goop throws would be nice. But some kind of armor that could protect against it would be great. It wasn't so fun the last time. I was having those things thrown back at me. Actually, honestly, some kind of armor would be great just overall. Oh, yeah. And imagine if we had one of those, uh, um, if we had some of those, um, those, uh, those powerful laser guns that, uh, that's, uh, that the egg army has. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Also, we should bring back, um, also, I haven't... Also, um, it's been years since they, since they can made these, but ever seen those things called, uh, what are they called? Goldars? They, um, they kind of look like, um, floating jellyfishes and they just, they just, uh, traps and they just trap someone in, in the grasp. Mm. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of those models. That'd be interesting, though. I would guess I should also bring it up front. Tumble. I'd imagine you, yeah. I'd, I'd imagine in terms of egg tech, you'd also want something a little more tail shaped again. Ooh, that would be awesome. Then I thought so. If I had a metal tail, I would use it. I would use it as my thoid, my my thoid arm. <laughs> a whirlwind of punches. That's terrifying. Ooh, imagine if I could stink bomber with it. Oh, oh, like a, or even better. Imagine if I could fire a flamethrower with it. Oh, oh now better. you're talking. The possibilities are endless, boys. Who knows? You could grab me with uh, it and throw me like a big old cannonball. Pretty lit. <laughs> Is Mimic still here? That'd be some of the coolest tech ever. Yes, I'm still here, but I'm just quiet. Ah, understood. Was just wondering exactly what kind of, you know, Bad nicks or even egg mechs would benefit you in the long run as part of Clean Sweep. I'm not very educated on bad nicks or even some of the mechs that 
Eggman has created. I don't care for it, but I think being with Clean Sweep, I could think maybe, maybe if we ever get parts from X or even some of his bad nicks, I'd like a new Wisp. Wisp. I've been I've been needing one. Oh, and it makes sense because I mean I'm uh, I'm officially a part of the Diamond Cutters again, and I feel like I'm gonna need one. You what know, about that? You cloaking tech. Uh, well, I mean, I can already disguise myself as anybody I want, so I don't really need. Could you disguise yourself as something invisible? Is there anything like invisible? I could disguise. I could disguise myself as you. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Hmm. Though I'm, I think I'm not very be, invisible. I think hmm. Ruff might be on to something. Not only, maybe, perhaps there could be some sort of technology that not only helps your helps you helps your disguises, but could possibly help you just lurk in the shadows without anybody knowing. Well, Invisibility I, might be something. Use some good contacts. Oh, well, I do that already. Well, I, it's well, I do that. Well, I do that already because I, I already have to play up this persona for who knows how long, and sometimes it's tiring. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Yeah, imagine if we were given that. If we, if we were given that chip from that one of from that uh that chameleon bob whatever it's called and and we have some and we have some sort and we are given some sort of head devices on us and that will and that will make us <laughs> and that'll give us some some camouflage as well mm. just like that that chameleon bot which i forgot the name of oh, we'll yes, just go with chameleon bot Korea. i think yeah no, 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 I, I know cool what talking tech. about. Something Eggman made from like when he first met Sonic. Oof, it's been a while. Speaking of which, Serge, Kit, I know you guys are more for the bust the robot sort of thing, but yeah, if you guys no have mercy for bad sort of, eh, Yeah, yeah. But at the same, but you know, it's just a hypothetical, you know? What? If there was any kind of robots that could benefit the both of you as a part of Clean Sweep, or even, you know, just weapons like Rough and Tumble have been talking about, just anything of the sort. There's no scenario in which I need their help to destroy Sonic. I got my dynamo cage and that's all that matters. How about you, Kit? If I had something like the dynamo cage, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, maybe we can get you one of your own someday. If I had to suggest something for a kid, actually, because it's actually been brought to mind, you know the infamous purple water from the chemical plant? Perhaps you could delve into something like that. Oh, oh boy. Not a bad idea. I tried oh, yeah. swimming in that once. I had to sit in a rice box for weeks. You get it all out of my circuits. It was not fun. I don't I'd think imagine you're... so, Cubot. I'd imagine so. Yeah, I don't think you're an aquatic robot. Plus that. Oh, and plus. Oh, and you plus want to test that, that theory? That, um, <laughs> plus no, that, please, please, no. It, plus <laughs> that, uh, to a minimum, that, um, please. That, that, I'm not that, trying to water. damage any of my salvage. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Well, this just got turned up to nine in a, in a quick bit. <laughs> I don't feel safe. Let's not damage all the stuff we work so hard to repair. Someone well, say damage. I said you better not. Ah, oh, come on. You don't let me have any fun. Do my eyes look like I'm wanting this to be fun? I'm serious. Don't test Maybe it. Maybe once in a while you I'm should. Fun. Mm-hmm. It's pretty fun to me. Anyway. Come on, up. Did everyone well, get then. a chance to answer? That, that, yeah, I got all the answers from everybody. I see some want weapons, some deal with stuff on their own, a wispin, and, you know, again, a little, a little thing to think about, Kit. Just a little thing to think about. I think it'd be interesting. Yeah. I dream to have these benefits. <laughs> and, again, something to think for, uh, something to ponder on for you, Clutch. Yes. Indeed. Thank you. Huh. The part uh, about lining long, up, right? I hope. I will leave you all now. Have a nice rest of your day. Thank Bye. you. Yeah, yeah you, you too. too. Take it easy. The yeah. question. Bye, Radar. All right. Uh, I believe I was given a hex question. Let me go ahead and get that up real quick. Uh, uh, this one is from Angie. Uh, to mimic. 
How does it feel knowing you, Ruff and Tumble, are part of a new team of bad guys? It's, uh, it's an odd coincidence, I'll say that, but I wasn't in the best of spirits when I was working under... I'm not even going to name him because I don't even want to think about him. So, What's this talking about, Stalin? Don't mention his name. Yeah, don't you say Wait. that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. So talking about Stalin. It's going okay. to get everyone ticked not. off. So let's just call him Evil Duck Boy. I don't, I'm not. Evil I don't, I'm not particularly privy to him either. I don't. I don't even like that name as well. I, I just Seriously, don't even. He doesn't deserve that title. I don't really look. I don't want to. I don't want to address him by name. Address him by nickname. I don't want to talk about him at all. But I have to. First of all, this isn't a team of bad guys. We're clean. We're clean sleep. Clean sweep incorporated. You're making me trip over my words by all this talk of bad guys. We're not bad guys. We're <laughs> doing good work. We're no. doing good things no. for good people. Turn me just reminds me of when out. I was doing community service. Look, let me just explain, Clutch. So, previously, I had worked with Rough and Tumble in a different team under someone else. And it's just an odd coincidence that I'm working with them yet again. But the way I'm seeing it with this well, Maybe group, it's destiny. I don't think. But, as I was saying, with this group of people, I'm trying to look under a better light. I'm trying to be more positive. I'm trying to, I'm trying to feel like I can actually fit in. Good to hear. I take my employees' needs very seriously. Yeah, definitely beats working for for that, uh, for that, for um, uh, for darling the platypus. For, for, for per- I was going to say for, Perry, but sure. I was okay. I, you know what? I was going to call him Mister Big Oof. That's that's what he should be called. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's better name. Because what a joke he was. Absolutely. Thank yeah. God he's thank chaos he's dead. Anyways. Look, I'll say this much about that doctor. He had a good head on his shoulders and knew what he was about. But it Excuse got him me? Danger. Not really. That's I, a damn would lie. You let me explain, please. I wasn't done. <sighs> He may have had a good head on his shoulders and smarts, but he didn't think wisely about what that gets you when you don't think about the others you're putting in risk. He didn't think about the people underneath of him. And as a result, he got played two ways from Sunday. (laughs) Two ways specifically. It was written poetically. His fall was orchestrated from the very beginning because he underestimated the one person he was trying to do better. I don't make that mistake. You don't sound yeah. like you do. Yeah, you're you're not obsessive like that duck. All I want is a good deal and good business. That's all there is to it. Anyways, so you make an awful account of fools. Shut up. <sighs> Dining up. Every oh already answered that question. Never mind. Um Alright, so who Who's next to pick up the next bird to pick the next person? I know words. Believe was it Kit that was up next? I believe so. We got time for maybe two more. I believe so. I think we got time for yes. Um. Yep. Yeah. We have. We should have time for two more. In be the sheep. They're the one who's been doing all that fan art. Yes, you Hello. have. Hello. Hi. Hi. Pleasure to meet everyone. Hey, you're the one that made me look so cool. Well, I mean, you already are cool, so I just drew what it was. (laughs) I'm glad you're enjoying it. (laughs) You're very Uh, talented. Maybe you'll have to hire your services sometime. You drew the back of my head so well. (laughs) Thank you, thank you. I don't remember. Did you draw? Did you draw Ruff and I yet? I I have drawn Ruff. I've not drawn you yet, Tumble, but I promise it's coming soon. One for you as well, Kit. I promise I'll try to draw everyone at least once. I'm seeing a lack of staff. I'm looking for a lack of me, but that's okay. I promise it's coming. Uh, So thank you all for uh, calling me up. I'll make this a a fun little uh, icebreaker question. Um, So I present you all, uh, pretend for this uh, context that I am a genie for you all, and I have one wish to grant for you. What would be that one wish? 
Tiny spots! Tiny spots! Tiny spots! The dead mm-hmm. Sonic. to us. Yeah, dead tails. There we go. That's my kit. And sorry, Clutch, what was your response? Oh, I was just telling Cubot to remember his place. Anyway, um, I didn't answer. Give me a second to think. Of course, take your time. But that does make, I do understand, Serge and, and Kit, I do understand your responses. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, that's a pretty yeah. good one, but if I had to pick a follow-up one, maybe a really cool motorbike. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I'd say probably to achieve my business goals. Mm-hmm. I won't pry, because I'm sure you want to keep this a secret so you don't have too much competition. But I wish you the best <laughs> in all your business endeavors. You catch on quick, but to be honest, the thing is, it's a bit of an impossibility, because my business goals never end. Oh, I do like that savvy. I do like that savvy. But again, I wish you all the best with all your goals. Gotta stay on top of the game. I'm gonna go for the more mm-hmm. obvious one, and just say that, uh, uh, considering that my tail is so short, I, w- I mean, I wish for, <clears throat> I wish for a big enough tail that I could do, that I could launch a stink bomber like my brother. <laughs> I guess I wish for that too. Can't think oh. of anything else I want. A metal tail like want- me. Then we'd have two metal. Then the both of us would be a metal tail duo. Oh, Ooh. or maybe I give you two metal tails. Really show that little Ooh. fox what's up. Oh yeah, it'd be I even like better idea. if I fly like him. We get another <laughs> wish. We get three tails, and then you'll really one up him. Mm-hmm. And frankly, Ooh, I think having three tails that can all grab stuff will be really powerful. Three tails. You grab me, this little Cuba guy. And anyone else small enough to be ba- balled up? Yeah, well, it kind of looks like I have two tails. Does that count? We, we can grab you. We go ball of energy. Hey, you know, big old triple threat. Listen, the day Tumble learns to fly is the day that pigs also fly. Let's make it happen. Be You're saying you pigs can't for. fly? Completely missed the point. Yeah, if we of got a cup. wish right here. Just wish for pigs to fly, then everything <laughs> else will fall into place. But that's not a very good use of your wish. But who am I it to stop you? It makes everything else fall into place. Come on. Uh, you said that's when not there's a lot of banking on pigs works. flying. Hey, fly. then, well, you said it out there. Craving bacon for some reason. Bacon. <laughs> anyway, oh, Mimic, did that. you respond? Um, I did not respond. Um, what was the question again? Ooh, MB, basically, I have question. If you can go, you can go ahead, sorry. You can if go you ahead, sorry. Wish, what is your wish? Can you repeat that again? You guys were talking over each other. Go My ahead, bad. Clutch. No, you go ahead. It was your question, by all means. <laughs> yes, go, okay. go, go, right, go right ahead. Yeah, okay, yeah, um, okay. We- it's fine. So the question is basically, I have a wish to grant to you. Any wish that you'd like, what would be your one wish that you'd want granted? Hmm. Well... If it's just one, then I have to make that uh, tough decision. Um, well, for right now, it would just be to um, to do a good job, to follow to follow you know the orders from Clutch, and just uh, you know get to the point where I'm able to be successful enough and um, and be able to do what I actually want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like that wish. Stick with me, and you'll go places. Yeah. Especially with all those business goals that will be achieved with your wish. So definitely. Exactly. Except I'll never stop being achieved. That's true. Very true. But so anyway. that ev- everyone? Did Zavok also class. answer? I'm sorry if I missed it. Um, uh, what, what was the question? I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, I have a wish to grant for you. Any wish that you'd like, what would you want granted? Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting question. I haven't thought about that. Um, no worries. You're giving me time to sketch this kit sketch, so you're good. That's good to hear. Ooh. But uh, I would say, uh, well, I would def- well, I would definitely say that um, mm, perhaps uh, a wish that um, would grant you power. Yes. Grant. Yes, to grant to Grammy power and um, to make perhaps 
Yeah, to um, <laughs> essentially make. I'm I'm sorry. You're right, Ed. I didn't mean. I did not mean to interrupt you. No, it's okay. I was just gonna say maybe help you get revenge back on Sonic from all the the trouble he's caused you, or potentially uh, the Eggman, if you'd also want prefer that. <laughs> oh yes, I've I've been. Si- I was hesitating for a reason. I. Uh, not exactly something I like to think about, but I will be darned if I would not like to get revenge on that little blue rat in the doctor. Totally Absolutely. Uh, I wish dead Sonic so I can get my motorbike. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, ah, thanks, man. I owe you one. Oh, it's really good. Thank you. Yes. Tr- yeah, trust that's me. That's I'm not a, and trust me, I'm not exactly uh, a host of a panel for Eggman Revolution by choice. Yeah, I, I do apologize that you have to be in such a sticky predicament. It's fine. I'm just saying yes to a job. Well, you're doing great. I'm well, just you. here because I lost to uh, Rock on a Thursday to Orbot. Uh, that's a very difficult game, I understand. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Because I know okay. Donut beats Rock! Like I would just, I would just rather be, and me, I would just, if, if I wasn't being dragged over here, I'd probably be bathing in the blood of my enemies or something, but uh, nonetheless, I'm here. Again, y'all are all doing great. So thank you again for all your time. And thank you all for answering my question. No problem. You have a good evening. Thank Hope you. you too. And thank you. Good morning. Bye. Whatever your time zone Bye. Is. Thank, thank you all again. What You're enough. welcome. What? Have a blast. You yes. too. Thanks for the heart. And I believe yeah, there is um, time for one more question. Um, so, Serge will round it out, won't she? Yes, let's have Serge do that. All right. Let's hear from Sully. Let's get Sully. Hello. What's your question? Oh, microphone was up. Hello there. Hi. Hey. Welcome. <laughs> hey. My question is to the big boss of charge clutch. You no. say the clean suit thing comes a lot across a lot of egg tech. Yes. Of egg Yes, yeah, so I'm curious. What's the rarest back name you come across while collecting egg tech? Oh, that's a good question. There's a lot of prototypes in Eggman bases that were left behind that not a lot of people ran into. He didn't like to show off all of his stuff to the public, especially when it wasn't ready for, well, whatever plan he had hatched at that point. So, there were times where he would tend to keep prototypes stored in lockdown, kind of behind closed doors tech. Some of that stuff is what I would say is the rarest tech we've got. But even then... I can't really ins- I can't really give out much information unless it's a prospective buyer. Those things don't go for cheap. Hmm. Plus, to be honest, hmm? we got to do a lot of research to uncover exactly what it actually does. All That's right. So, question to ask. I was going to ask. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. I was looking in the back room and I found a really weird, like, ah, it's like a bug. It's got a big body. And two big old m- 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 mandibles. Mandibles. Oh, That's yeah. That's a word, right? That like one. the mouth claws on, on big bugs. That's a pretty tricky one. I think it was a prototype of some new type of badnik. It looked pretty old. But yeah. yeah, I've never seen that around on the field before. Must have not seen the light of day. Maybe it had too many errors, too many glitches in the code. Yeah, the design seemed uh, pretty dubious rudimentary even but i'll i'll make sure to double check on that one thanks for reminding me rough anyways uh thank you sully no problem all righty bye all right i believe that concludes this this panel for this eggman revolution thing i uh, doctor you owe me but, um, is there anything you would like to say to round it out well, or not? I'll, I'll talk with you one-to-one after this. 
But anyway, uh, I'll leave the floor to my employees. You guys say what you want to say. I was great being around. Nice to talk about myself a whole lot. Tumble? Yeah, it so was a blast. It, it was it so was a blast to be here with my brother Ruff. Don't know what I'd do without him. Uh, we work too well together. Um, anyone else? Nah, take it sleazy, everyone. Eh, Kit, you know what to do. Yeah, it was, it was actually not bad being in here. Right. Uh, Mimic, what about you? Yes, Mimic, what about you? Uh, there's, there's not much I can really say. I think, um, thanks for having me. You're a value. I look, I look for, thanks for coming. Oh, me next, me next. Uh, thank you everyone for coming and a uh, good night. I hope Arba has, has, re- has stuff ready for us. <laughs> Playing you're, you're, another movie night. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're a little ahead of the curve there. Um, yes, I believe, um, I Thank would. you all. I guess I'll give my, my ending statement for all of you wonderful people in the audience. Thank you so much for coming over and checking out Clean Sweep Inc. We value our customers, and we really appreciate the time and effort you took to ask us some questions. It means a lot to us. Be re- remember to travel safe as you go home to wherever you were from. I wouldn't want any of you to get hurt. So please, be careful on your way uh, out, and don't touch any of the is... merchandise. Um... Uh... I didn't touch anything, but one of the machines back here is making some kind of white smoke. Well, go check it out. What do I pay you for? Do you want me to touch it? Well, make sure it doesn't explode. And if it does, isolate it in a place where it won't be a danger to anyone. All right. Isolate. (coughs) Isolating it now. Hold on, Ruff. Let me help you. I can do some extra hands on this thing. Serge, kid, (coughs) maybe you want to go help. Mimic you too. Yeah. Does it smell like fire in here? What's going on? Uh, on. Get on it. It kind of does. Let me see if oh, I can we, help. We gotta move this thing out of here. Oh, you're right. I think I should help out with this, too. Anyway, Zavok, you have a panel to end. Go for it. I'll stick around for a little Lighting bit. my hands! Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yes, I would... <clears throat> The uh, Serenity Rose does not appear to be available, so I will go ahead and uh, mention the next. Uh, what is this? A cartoon night. Um, let me check to see um, which one it is for this this month. Excuse me. I believe yes. On um, tomorrow. Um, excuse me. On the 19th, we have a cartoon night with um, a, excuse me, I know words, I promise. A cartoon night's Maguzi theme. So be on the lookout for that on Friday, um, Friday the 19th. Uh, be on the lookout for the times for that. And also, um, I want to give a... Special shout out to, um, I want to give a special shout out to our voice, our voice actors, and that would be, um, Diet Dr. Kelb VA as Clutch, Landy as Ruff the Skunk, Sword T40 as Tumble, Blingy as Kit the Fen, Kit the Fennec, and um ethereal sunflower as serves the tenric and um uh who's this guy josh hodgson as myself that's brick that guy um also um mc voices as cubot and uh, and don't forget mr jpeg as mimic that is correct. That is, you are right, Mister JPEG as mimic, as well, and oh, of course, wow, that really was quick that drawing. Oh, hey, hey, that's a nice image of me. Wow. Thank you so much, MB. MB. Oh, and those tails look amazing. And also, be on the lookout for our next panel 
um, this coming, well, their next panel, excuse me, which will be um, on Tuesday, the 23rd, a Q&A with Evil Shaddix, hosted by Chris and Cookie Star, as well as um, a certain premiere of uh, something for this Eggman revolution thing on Saturday at 7 p.m. Excuse me. Let me let me read. Let me read that on Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. There will be a world premiere that's related to this Eggman revolution thing. And uh, yes, Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, there will be the Q&A with Evil Shaddix hosted by Chris and Cookie Star. And yes, I believe that about does it. So yeah, one more, one more thing I have to add with the cartoon nights. The pre-show starts at 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And the cartoon nights itself will start at 4.30 p.m. PT and 7.30 p.m. ET. So tune in if you want to watch some cartoons. Thank you for... Thank you for clarifying that. I did not see the time. Anyway, I've got one more thing to say to just you, Zavik. So if all my employees would like to step out of the room for a second. All right. Uh, Can I say your... I'm co-host. No. You can't stay here. Huh. Well, say ya. There we go. Uh, go back down. Okay. Talk to me. I take it you have no kindness for the doctor. What was your first clue? Well, to be honest, you didn't really sound like you were doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Mainly just because the doctor gave you a task and you don't want to raise eyebrows. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm. Not necessarily here by choice. That's what I figured. I'm not stupid. So I've got a little message for you to relay to the doctor. Just so things don't get twisted. Shoot. Be sure to let the doctor know in the kindest way possible that if he dares try to investigate into my business dealings again, I'll make sure he remembers why he shouldn't. Is that clear? Understood. Thank you. Make sure that message gets relayed to him. Because I'd hate for him to learn what happened to the last person who crossed me. Message received. Good. All right. Is that all you had to say to me? That's all. I can respect you. I like your style. So don't get it twisted. I don't have any ill will towards you. But the doctor's got another thing coming. If he thinks he can cross me or investigate my business and get away with it. So I'll make sure he makes... He makes... Very clear not to do that again. And the same goes for anyone else who asks questions that they shouldn't ask. Understood. And with that, have yourselves a good night.